What's going on, guys? It's Vikos here. If you have ever experienced slow and lagness when it comes to loading and opening up your Go High Level accounts, opening up pipeline conversation opportunity and all that stuff, you could need to watch this video. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel and you don't know who I am yet, my name is Vico Kang, your Go High Level Ninja. I run a multiple six-figure real estate marketing agency that help real estate agents in New Zealand and Australia get more listing. We ourselves also a Go High Level partner. We have on board over 200 plus agents owner onto the software and continues to be counting that and i personally have coached the agency one-on-one -on -one, some of them one-on-one -on -one, to make sure that they launch and excel in their agency journey so if you like content like this such as agency go high level tip and tricks when it comes to prospecting appointments and sales make sure that you consider subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and also share the channel thank you all right so this mistake have personally cost us thousand and thousand of wasted productive hour when it comes to our sales team and appointment setter. And if you own and manage your sales team, you probably know what that like. If your sales team and appointment setter go into the app and it's just loading and it's tracking and it's killing everyone time. We actually personally spent a lot of time talking with Go High Level team, the support team directly to actually come up with a solution to actually able to diagnose this problem in the first place. And the solution is surprisingly very simple. The solution that we see that fix our problem is this right is the task pending now when we first started we all going crazy with workflow and trigger and we um, try to automate and we just like automate the task creation when someone reply you create task when someone book appointment you create task and over time that's that does add up and you know our, we just realized that our team doesn't really use high level tasks that much because we have Asana and ClickUp and we have like other productivity to, to keep track of our workflow and our pending tasks. So we don't really use high level as a task management or you know productivity tool. So that just gets stacked up and that's the mistake that we make in the beginning. So if you're watching this and you're new to high level, make sure that you don't repeat this mistake. Like don't create tasks on trigger or workflow if you're not going to be using it, right? Make sure that you find the kill switch and cancel that automation. But this is what worked really well. So you need first of all, you need to open the task, like the task dashboard and delete all your tasks. And we see an increase in terms of the loading time, right? Technically decrease in time, but it's been getting faster and like it's been like 100% um, an increase of the opening time and you know, the less delay and it just the speed just so much better. Now I'm gonna tell you guys on how to do that. You can see this image myself, like I got like 9,000 tasks letting alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that or just move it to complete. But what you need to do is come to this link. I make sure to leave this link in the comment section and the description below. But what you need to do is go HTTPS slash slash app dot go high level dot com slash V2, which is version two slash location and put your ID location, right? If you don't know where to find your location ID, make sure that you go to setting and company, right? Go to setting again, setting company and get your location ID and put it into that section here, that section here. And then slash task. Hopefully this work for you guys. Once you put your real ID in there and you click on, it asks you to put in your username and your password to log in. And after that, you should go to the dashboard that we see in the past, right? You know, the whole task dashboard and look at the task that you have. If you have a lot of tasks, that probably could be the problem why you have slow and lacking when it comes to loading the high level dashboard and the high level interface. So hopefully this help guys. If you find this very, uh, video valuable, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment if this tricks actually fixed your problem and we've been like working i think we've been spending two and a half weeks talking to high level support back and forth to actually diagnose this it may seem simple but it's actually a real real pain in the butt so leave a comment below make sure that uh this is actually work for you guys or you know um if there are any other things so share in the community below as well thank you have a good one